Welcome. Hi, Andy. I just got back in town and um, definitely feeling nice and relaxed, um, but it's time to get back to work. So I wanna share a few announcements with you guys. Also wanted to share a few pieces that I've been working on. And you know what, I actually don't remember if I, um, I've been kind of chipping away at them little by little when I'm here. And so I don't remember if I actually shared these um, on my live last Monday, Tuesday, whatever it was, I'm so uh, lost in my schedule. So anyhow, I'm Laura Madden. Those of you new here, thank you for joining. Um, this is Refashioned Art, and I'm in my Refashioned Art studio. My website, if you want to learn more about me, shop.iamlauramadden.com, limited prints, some merchandise you can purchase with my art printed on it, and then iamlauramadden.com. I have um, a blog there of sorts, that is slowly went from a business blog to more like a portfolio, kind of like, um, I don't know, catch all of all things uh, that I'm working on right now. But if you want to um, shop and search my originals and see what's available, see the prices, see what has already sold, it's almost up to date, not quite. It's uh, iamlauramadden.com forward slash art. And don't worry, if you just head to the link in my bio here, all of those um, websites, all of those links are right there. So head to the link in bio for all those things. And also guys, if you wanna get on my email list updates, which I hope you do, because I have something I'm doing this week, um, it will all be right through email, then I hope you will sign up. Again, click on that first option, link in bio. That very first option, that'll get you to my email list. Hey guys, what's up? Tony, Judith, hey guys, my artist community, thanks for joining me. So um, guys, it's July. Um, if you guys are not familiar, I'm a huge sustainability advocate. Just about everything I do um, ties back to my purpose of creating style and sustainability and helping others do it as well. All of my originals are made using repurposed materials. So this here, a woman I know right here, uh, at Stay With Style Scottsdale, this is work in progress. This one here also came with came from Stay With Style Scottsdale. So she had um, passed those on to me uh, instead of throwing them out. It was junk, you know, she didn't need them. Um, but also guys, Plastic Free July, I did a really cool video, super informative, educational, entertaining, you know, what, what, what more could you want with Iconic Life Magazine and Fused Living. So Iconic Life Magazine, guys, if you're not following them here, it's at your iconic life. They're amazing and they really do it all when it comes to living beautifully, but they're also super concerned with helping people live sustainably. So they got that whole style and sustainability thing going on as well, which is super exciting to be able to partner with them because it's like so on brand for me. Um, we did a really cool video together and it's actually in my feed here and it's uh, it's on my IGTV and it's also, so just look for this one right here. It's also on Your Iconic Life's feed as well and on their YouTube. So I highly recommend you go check them out. So Shannon Harris, the owner of Fuse Living, as well as Renee D, who is the owner and publisher of Iconic Life Magazine, we shared our favorite tips for living plastic free because it's plastic free July. And you know what guys, it's actually not that hard. It's not that difficult. A lot of people think, oh my God, you know, I have to change my whole life to try and get more sustainable and da da da, you know, take all these steps, but you really don't. And honestly, every bit matters, every bit counts, every bit is gonna make a difference. So even if you could just give up using, you know, plastic utensils or plastic straws, um, plastic, you know, dinnerware, all those things that you might not even think of. Um, make sure if you're gonna use those single-use plastics that they are recyclable and you do recycle them. So guys, I hope you will check out that video. Simple tips, fun tips, nothing crazy. Uh, let me shut that off. And so I wanna share just a few things, guys. I've been creating art um, using some of those unrecyclable plastics. And so these here, guys, these are actually made using, uh, by the way, these are tiny, these are 10 by 10, these are for sale. Um, these are made using those plastic pillows that come in most of our uh, online shopping packages. And so I love gold. You guys have followed me here for any bit of time. You know that I love, love, love gold and I actually love using it in my decor. So this here started canvas um, and it is wired to hang exactly like so, but of course 
abstract art, one of my favorite things, it could go any of four ways. And I think it looks best like this. Um, DM me guys if you're interested. Again, I do have two. And both of these are wired to hang exactly as I'm showing them. But guys, this is kind of like my little way of at least repurposing some of that plastic instead of throwing it in the trash. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. So I thought I've got to find a way. Um, so I'm just getting started on that. If you want um, to know more about that, please don't hesitate to DM me, reach out. I would love to share more. And um, if you ever want to partner with me um, or if you have your own, you know, plastic from your online shopping packages or those plastic pillows, um, I will come and pick them up. If you're local, I will come and pick them up. If you don't want to throw them in the trash and you don't have any other purpose for them, I'm so happy to come and get them because I know I'm going to find a way to use, and I've got quite a collection going now, and I'm going to find a way to use all these things and um, make something beautiful out of them. Okay, so that being said, guys, Plastic Free July, check it out. We love your support. Again, it's plasticfreejuly.org. Um, it is a very organized movement. It started in 2011. So if you want to learn more about that, head to plasticfreejuly.org, and I will place all of this in my uh, stories later today. I want to share, guys, so this one here I'm working on, like I mentioned, this came with um, came from Stay With Style Scottsdale. They do uh, vacation rentals and... Oh God, Dee Dee, she is such a cool chick and I was so flattered that she even thought of me. Um, this last home that she is rehabbing to rent out, she's totally beautifying it, which I think is so cool. Um, there was a bunch of leftover art that she knew was not gonna fit the aesthetic and she knew she was not going to use like tons of it. And so she called me to come and pick up whatever I could use and I picked up a bunch, it's so exciting. And I've only, um, I've actually only started on a few pieces that she um, gave me, but super excited. So these, this one here again from Stay With Style Scottsdale, work in progress, and I'm really kind of liking it. I like the boldness. I was feeling really bold when I made that. And so a lot of times my, my attitude or you know my emotions do come out on the canvas. And it's so fun sometimes to look back at what was going on in my life when I made this thing. Okay, so guys, this is another one here. This is not, um, this one I made a couple months ago. And this is not plastic. It's more of like a pliable styrofoam. Again, you all have probably seen it. It comes in our, uh, you know, online shopping packages. Actually, I'm going to get, stay right there. Don't go anywhere. I've got some right here that I haven't, uh, we have yet so this is it guys this is what you're seeing if you have this at home I will come and pick it up this is it this is it it's actually quite comfy soft but so this is made out of I'm assuming petroleum all plastic is made out of petroleum it is like a very soft pliable I guess I would call it styrofoam. If you know what this is called, please let me know. Share it in the comments or uh, DM me because I am not sure what the actual name of this is, the technical name. But yeah, it's great for packing, but unfortunately it doesn't biodegrade. And unfortunately it's not um, recyclable. So what's your option? Putting it in the trash or finding some other thing to do with it? So this is just one of those pieces and I've done a number of these. This one is for sale. This is called Lux. And I'm gonna show you just a few more pieces uh, this one here, I love this one so much. That's black. I gotta make more of these because I get so many requests for this. Um, this was for made for James Judge. You can find him here at the House Judge, and he did uh, share this in his feed in one of his photo shoots of one of his properties. But anyway, love that. I love the all black. I actually might like the all black more than the silver, but I just love metallic so much. And then I'll show you one more. This is a different material. This is a soft plastic that came from the packing materials. It's not the styrofoam. It is a soft plastic for sure. This one is actually available at Fuse Living, guys. If you didn't know, I do have a number of pieces, over a dozen pieces, available at Fuse Living for purchase. Fuse Living, guys, they're also doing a huge studio sale right now the entire month, and I don't know if they're gonna extend it. I know they're kind of like revamping and doing like a turnover of their studio decor, it sounds like. So I don't know, but definitely follow them at Fuse Living here on Instagram, and that is available at Fuse Living. That's a great big one, 20 by 40. But that's just another one of these pieces. 
Now, I got so excited about doing this, guys, I decided to make it a whole new series, and I call it Refashion, Resculpt. I thought that was, uh, <laughs> I thought that was appropriate because it's more like sculptural, and I love that sculptural vibe. It's a little bit avant-garde, it's a little bit eccentric and unusual, but something like this in your home, on your wall, adding this to the decor, you guys, it's gonna add a punch, it's gonna add an impact, it brightens up any room. I just love it. I have some of these hanging in my room. My home, I actually have a huge one hanging in my home. Um, I don't have a photo handy, but um, anybody that walks into my home always comments on it because it's so unusual looking and it's like, what the heck is that? Where did you get it? You know, where did you find it? And that was really just my way of wanting something cool and unique and modern for my home decor, but also not wanting to throw these things into the trash. So it's my little way of feeling better, at least for now. So I hope in some way, shape, or form, I am having a positive impact. But um, to be continued, like I said, I'm just getting started. All right, guys, so that's all I wanted to share, actually. Oh, I'm gonna show you one more thing. I'm actually gonna share one more thing. This one is just for fun, but this is also using my white styrofoam. It's just fun. And I don't know if I'm actually going to hang this in my home. It is, um, this is, that it's actually adhered to a piece of styrofoam. But I just love it. I just love it. And I, I think it's also just, you know, I'm kind of like a style rebel. Uh, and I really always have been, but I haven't been totally expressing that until maybe the last few years. But I'm a style rebel. And so I like that these things are, you know, a little bit unusual avant-garde I, I think they're avant-garde do you agree let me know if that's the right term but that's how i see them because i think they're maybe beyond their time behind their time i don't even know but so guys last thing i want to leave you with that i want to make sure i mention doing a live art show 5 p.m this thursday actually i'm slated for 5 p.m but there's a chance it might be <laughs> the time might have to be a little pliable uh just for logistical reasons but this thursday guys i am I'm doing another little clean out. I've been making a lot of new things and in order to get those out there, I need to move more of the old stuff. So stay tuned, details again, like I said, get on my email updates guys, click on the link in the bio, that very first option on the drop down. get the email updates, get yourself all signed up and so you will get those details um, and I am gonna give first dibs to my email list. So make sure you get on those updates because clean out sale guys, prices are gonna be significantly lower than the prices you're seeing on my website. Which is super exciting. All right, that's that. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> the black, I know it is. Uh, that's the refashion resculpt series. The black was called Blackout. And I actually have a white one, it's not in here, and it's called Whiteout. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's like whatever comes to mind. It's like, okay, that's what it's called. It's done. So, all right, guys, thanks for joining. Appreciate all your enthusiasm, your feedback, your DMs really mean a lot. Um, every morning, I just, I honestly get so much joy just responding to people and sharing. Uh, no question is off limits. I love talking about my process. I love talking about my sourcing uh, because I hope I'll inspire or impress upon you to maybe try it yourself. I really want to help people see and you know get excited about making their own art for their own home or workspace or maybe even for a gift because there's nothing that feels or for me there's nothing that feels you know there's nothing else that feels that empowered you know you made something with your own hands it is so so good so I hope you will try it you too Andy bye babe all right guys um be back on Thursday bye bye.